Hey guys, I'm Dory with the blog Blissful Life 5 and today I want to share with you my recent haul from our antiquing trip. I mentioned in our last video that I had a antique booth in a mall, um, the Brass Armadillo, when we lived in Omaha, Nebraska and I had started collecting milk glass then but I got rid of pretty much all of it uh, and sold it in my booth and so I wanted to start collecting it again and this recent haul was mostly milk glass. Um, so I want to share that with you today. I had these pieces that I found at Goodwill. They were only 50 cents a piece and so I snagged them. I got four of these little bowls and they sit in the window pass through that goes into our kitchen. But this was pretty much all that I had. I, I do have a couple of vases too that I got at garage sales, but um, that was pretty much the extent of my milk glass collection after I had gotten rid of most of the rest of it. And so I wanted to pick up some more pieces and this latest trip was the perfect opportunity. They had so many uh, different varieties and options and, and different booths uh, had different uh, collections. So I was able to pick up several pieces at a really good price. And so I want to share those with you today. I also grabbed a couple of other things that I'll share. And then I'm also going to show you how I use, how I'm using those in my decor. I have some built-in shelves on either side of my fireplace that I was wanting to use these to decorate with. And so I tried to find pieces where they would look even on either side. And so I picked up these two pieces so that I could put one on either side, I really liked the pattern in this one, if you can kind of see. It's got this pretty kind of star pattern with the circle uh, rectangle there, and so I just thought it was really pretty. Um, I also picked up this ice bucket with the hobnail pattern on it. I really love this hobnail pattern. It's so pretty, and so I snagged that. This piece was actually an old light fixture, but we thought it was really cool, and it was only $4, and so I snagged it, and I'm gonna use it as a piece of decor. Uh, we picked up these little guys. My son actually found these for me and they're super cute. Um, and so there's a set of two that I could use to be symmetrical in the shelf decoration. So I grabbed those as well. This little lamp is not actually, um, it's not actually milk glass, but it kind of looked like milk glass. It's kind of got that just, it's, the bumps with the hobnail look to it also. And I just thought it was really cute. So I snagged that as well. Um, I got these hobnail candle holders. They're really pretty. And then I got this set of milk glass candle holders as well. And then I also picked up these brass salt and pepper shakers. I just thought they were super cute. And so I grabbed those while we were there as well. And so this was my haul, a pretty good deal on all of this and I was really excited to pick these up. And so now I'm gonna show you how I use it to decorate my shelves. I'm adding in a few extra pieces here. I got these plates, they're super cute, on clearance at Kirkland's. And so to add some color, since my shelves are white and the milk glass is white, I am um, gonna use these plates to bring in some color with that buffalo check pattern on there. And then I also, I'm going to use these plates. I found these plates at Goodwill and I thought they were really pretty and so I grabbed a couple of those so I'm going to use those as well. And then I'm also going to use these brass candlesticks that I found at a garage sale. Um, don't be afraid to mix metals. It looks really pretty together and it adds some interest and so um, let's get started. Milk glass was first made in the 16th century in Venice, and it was a more affordable alternative to porcelain. The glassmakers called it opal glass, and it wasn't called milk glass until more recently. It was popular really up until the Great Depression, and then the popularity kind of waned, but it was brought back when Fenton introduced the hobnail pattern. And here are my shelves all done. As you can see, I didn't use all the pieces. I will in the near future. We still have the top two um, shelves on either side filled with books. We intend on building some uh, built-in shelves in our office soon, but for now we, need, we still need the space for our books. And so um, when, that, when those get moved over to the office, then I will use the rest of those pieces and I'll be sure to show you. Thanks for decorating with me today. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And for more on our home, go visit me on the blog at thisfullife5.com. See you soon.